So I just recently got into guitar effects and immediately encountered the issue that every single pedal costs between about 50 and 100 bucks. The solution to this that I found was using digital software to simulate guitar effects. But then with that software, you lose the ability to quickly change effects. So I decided to build a guitar pedal box to control my digital effects. The box that I built has five switches on the top to turn effects on and off and two dynamic pedals coming out of the front that you can use for like whammy pedals, wah pedal, volume pedal, that type of thing. The only electronics that you need for this project is an Arduino, some momentary switches, and some potentiometers. In total, this cost me about 15 bucks, not including the box. I chose to make the box out of wood, but if you're in a pinch, you could probably just reuse an old shoe box or get an Amazon box or something. The dimensions that I chose were 12 feet by about five deep. After making the box, the next step is to mount the potentiometers inside. This is probably the most complicated part of the build. So the way that I went about mounting it was by first attaching them to an angle bracket, like from a picture frame, and then screwing the bracket down into the wood. So next I attached the pedals to the potentiometers and added springs below the pedals. And then I cut holes in the front of the box for the pedals to come out of. Then I drilled holes in the top for the switches and I just put the switches through. Luckily for me, they came with mounting hardware, which is pretty cool. Uh, but again, you could probably just epoxy it if they didn't come with it. Then the Arduino goes right in the middle and I just drill a hole for the USB connection to come out the back. The wiring for this was fairly simple. Um, all of the momentary switches share one side is 5 volt and then the other side goes into the digital pins. It's important that you start at digital pin 0 and then count up because that's what the software requires. Next I wired up the potentiometers. so. The two pins go to ground and 5 volt, and then one pin goes to the analog input, again starting at zero. The software that I used for this was written by Michael Balzar a couple years ago, and it seems to work really well. All you really need to change in the code is the number of analog and digital inputs, uh, which is the number of buttons and pedals. The only change that I made to his code is I added a calibration for the analog pedals. Whenever you plug in the controller, you just need to press the pedal all the way down and let it back up and that'll calibrate it. You can also reset the calibration by pressing every single button on the controller if it happens to mess up when you're using it. So after you upload the code to the board, you just need to download some software. Um, one program is called Loop MIDI, and that creates a virtual MIDI device. The other one is called Hairless MIDI, and that takes the board's output and sends it to that virtual MIDI device. The software that I use for my guitar effects is called Guitar Rig. Uh, they have a free version that's good. They also have a pro version that's easy to get for free, and there you go. Now you have your own working uh, guitar pedal controller. So start to finish, this project took me about two days, which consisted mostly of just making the physical box and writing the code. If you like this video, please consider subscribing because it would really help me out. YouTube just changed their policy, so now I'm about to lose my monetization because I don't have enough subscribers. Uh, I need to hit a thousand by two days from now, so that's probably not gonna happen, but um, feel free to share it and leave a comment, tell me what you think. But uh, yeah, so hopefully this video was informative or at least entertaining, so have a good one.